Okay, we have made it to clear coating since we are all done. Um, I would much rather use this uh, paint gun, but since we're only using just a little canvas, it'd be a waste to mix up some clear coat just to spray over this thing. And besides, I don't have everything set up to run a paint gun, but this right here will work just as good. Um, it's a gloss clear and it's an acrylic base. Uh, the rules of painting is a 50% overlap. Um, so you're just going to shoot out one time and then you're going to overlap it 50%, 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 50 until you reach the whole entire picture and you're done with it. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to go ahead and fog over the picture with this um, just to give it a light coat just like I did when I sprayed the whole alien picture. I just kind of misted it over with some white paint. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing is just kind of fogging it over, getting it uh, to tack up so it's kind of sticky for it to bond really good when I put a, a bunch of wet coats over top of it. So I'm going to wait like probably two minutes for it to kind of dry up a little bit and then I'm going to put on some heavy coats um, and then I'm going to kind of back off and then I'm just going to kind of uh, mist over the picture again like I did in the beginning of doing the clear coat. And then that will get rid of some of the streaking that you will see when you go over this way. I want to explain why I go over and I miss the whole picture after when I do my 50% overlap. And that's just to cover up uh, some of the streaking just because um, the nozzle is a circle shape and it's going to spray out a pattern like this. They do have other nozzles out there that look like this and they shoot out a, um, a fan pattern so they cover really nice um, from going you know overlapping. So that is why I'm misting over this whole thing is because I'm using this nozzle. If I use this nozzle or if I use a paint gun then I would just spray uh, do my 50% overlaps and then just call it done. I wouldn't have to um, mist over my picture to kind of get rid of some of the streaking just because of the nozzle the way it is between this one to this one so hopefully that helps okay so before we head out we clear this um i am gonna lay it down flat and i'm gonna clear it like this uh, i don't want to worry about runs and stuff like that because i am gonna put it on super heavy so if i put it on heavy i might have some runs come down so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna lay it flat I'm going to wipe it off, get all the, you know, the dust and the lint off of it as much as I can. And then I'm just going to kind of fog over the picture, give it a nice tack coat, wait about two minutes. And then I'm going to go really heavy over top of it. And then I'm just going to kind of pull back and then kind of do another little light coat and kind of blend it all in and make it really wet. And then I'm just going to let it dry depending on your weather. It is super cold outside, so it might take a little longer for it to dry. But the end result, it should look really nice and be nice and glossy. So let's roll.
we have finally hit the end of the road. Um, it is all nice and dry. It's got some shine to it. And it looks pretty cool. Ooh. So I'm quite happy with it. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Ooh, scary. Okay, since I have a little extra time to spare, I want to um, show you guys how I got some things on this picture. Because uh, I know I went really fast, and this is my time to shine and kind of slow it down for you. Uh, like the slime coming from his mouth, uh, it's, it may look hard, it's not. It's super duper easy once you kind of simplify it. So I'm going to show you how to do that and a couple other little things here and there. Uh, I got me a black piece of paper over here that we're going to paint on. It's the only black strip of paper that I have. If I quit chit-chatting, and I will start showing you what I'm talking about. So let's roll. All right, I got you turned around, and this little drool, um, slobber spit stuff down here in the right-hand corner, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, draw that out here, um, and then we're just going to spray over it, and I'm going to show you how uh, I got it to look like that. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a... Something like that. Okay, I guess my camera just freaked out on me for a minute and it stopped uh, video recording, but I just kind of did a little bit of a teardrop. All right, I got my pressure down low on my air. I got my paint over reduced. And then I'm just going to kind of spray. Trying to fill it in. Now notice I do leave the air on. Okay. Now this is optional, but I can do it all with my airbrush. But since I did it with a gel pen, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it with a gel pen again. So I'm just going to kind of. Fill it in a little bit. Just like that. Good enough. And then come back in with my airbrush. Kind of smooth it around the edges. I know my camera is all washed out, um, but I would go through with black and I kind of would um, kind of push back some of this right here. But I'm just going to focus on white right now. Let me draw another one. And then I'm just going to use just nothing but my airbrush on this. Kind of fill it in. And then I'm moving closer. Something like that. And uh, it's still kind of funky. Huh. Maybe if I turn it. Does it help if I turn it? 
There you go. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Um, you have the gel pen side, which I like the gel pen side, and then you just got the airbrush side, but, you know, that's just the way I do it. Now we'll do this little triangle piece right here and kind of make it look like it's got uh, some depth and it's kind of pushed back. Um, how I did that is, let me draw the little triangle. Just like this. And then... Just gonna kind of fill it in a little bit. Now it's not going to be perfect because um, I'm not using black in any of these. I'm just using just the white. So I will get overspray. And now if I put a piece of tape there to get a nice hard edge. And I use my stencil here. And I kind of miss the bottom. So all I'm doing is really painting the bottom and letting some overspray go onto the top and just like that and there you go and you have this little piece right here as far as the details all I did was just kind of do this with the gel pen um, just kind of give it some squirrely marks and stuff like that um, you can also smear it if you like to kind of give it a nice blend But I just kind of do that and then go back in with the airbrush and kind of mist over it. Oh, let me clean my tip off real quick. Kind of go over them and give it a nice soft blend. Just like that. And that's it. That's for the little details. But you can make any detail, really anything, if you want to just kind of do little squigglies. Like that. Because I just kind of just threw them around. Um, throughout the picture and that's basically what the alien the last layer um, it looks like if you just kind of break it down and you really look close it's just a little bit it's just a lot of these little things right here Alright, let's do a tooth. Uh, hopefully I got enough time. Um, we'll do... We'll do the first one. Alright, good enough. And I know my gel pen's starting to dry out because I leave the lid off. How smart of me. And kind of blend out some but you can do this totally with an airbrush and it would look probably a lot cooler um, if you just used an airbrush but I like to get it super white super bright all right take the airbrush and we're gonna kind of fill it in Now notice I do have my pinky down here um, as a pivot point. So I can keep the same distance with the airbrush while I'm painting. And that's one less thing I have to concentrate on. Alright, now we got it all filled in with just to kind of blend it out.
Don't forget to clean your tip. And we're having fun. Right? Hopefully you guys are. Because I know I am. I may not sound like I'm trying not to talk real loud because it blows out my microphone and my on my uh on my camera. So that's why I'm talking in a low voice. If you want to just add the dots like I have in there. I just kind of did that just to give it texture. <laughs> 